opponent got up in the House of Commons and told the people of Canada, and it was printed in almost every paper in this dominion, that the Crown corporations were a dismal failure. Now, what I want to know is, if in 1949, 9% was a pretty good return, how come in 1956, 13% is a dismal failure? And after 12 years of experimentation, I suggest that three questions should be posed and considered by the people of Saskatchewan tonight. First of all, have the Crown Corporations been able to operate efficiently? Secondly, has the government, because of the program, been able to provide a substantial number of jobs, additional jobs for Saskatchewan citizens in manufacturing industry? Thirdly, have the Crown Corporations made revenue available to the provincial treasurer? which he could use for social services, highways, school grants, etc. But the Liberal Party makes a great deal of fuss about these three small crown corporations. What do they represent? They represent four-fifths of one percent of the total amount of money which the Saskatchewan people have invested in crown corporations. But I say that any of them who do fail still didn't cost the people of Saskatchewan a red cent. And I'll tell you why. And yet the activities of the tannery were ill-fated and short-lived. About the only hides they tanned were the hides of the Saskatchewan taxpayer. <laughs> when all the smoke had cleared away, that company had a deficit as nearly as I can ascertain of roughly $200,000. One company up, one company down. My opponent has been going around this constituency, particularly in places that are not covered by the press. He's been saying, saying that he knows things about people inside the CCF. And that he has photostatic copies of private files from the RCMP, which show... <laughs> Order! Which show that there are is a CCF MLA who had an association with the Communist Party. A shoe factory was set up in 1945 to utilize the letter which was made in the tanning factory. What are the facts pertaining to the shoe factory? The shoe factory did lose money. So much so that in 1948 it closed down after having accumulated deficits of more than $82,000. Two companies up. Two companies down. I'm saying here, Mr. Speaker, that, on, order, that instead of discussing this in private, in some private corner of the constituency, I'm inviting the Liberal candidate to put this photostatic copy of a confidential file of the RCMP on this table. A woolen mill was set up in my home city of Moose Jaw. What are the facts pertaining to this operation? The mill was transferred to a private company. That company finally moved the machinery out of the province, and today the whole operation is defunct. Three companies up, three companies down. Crown corporations haven't changed. They're doing better now than they did then. They're giving better service now. They're giving service to more people than they did then. I'm saying that the attack on the Saskatchewan Crown Corporation, which has done great harm to this province in other parts of Canada, was done to cover up the fact that my opponent had deserted and betrayed the people who elected him. And I say, and I say that any man who will use tactics like that in the House of Commons or anywhere else is not fit to represent the fine people of this constituency in the Parliament of Canada. I felt a moment ago that perhaps the Premier was a little bitter. I can't say that I blame him for not talking about Crown Corporations at all for the last ten minutes of his speech, because the record is pretty bad. 